going to offer that entire video here shortly so that people can download that and see it for themselves. Uh, it was just a matter of um, I would switch position, you know, maybe turn three or four degrees <clears throat> from where I was standing on the top of the hill, zoom in, and it's everything from uh, I have jets flying by with uh, UFOs that whiz right over the top of them. Um, as I said before, I have a couple where I zoom in on them, and as they take off straight vertical at speed, not in a slow uh, you know, increase of speed, they go from ground level to 5,000 miles an hour straight into the air, and somehow I managed to move the camera up at the exact time. Uh, there's that. Um, the campsite video, similar things. It just seems to be, uh, you know, just uh, UFOs that fly into the frame, and lo and behold, I'm always in the right place at the right time. Uh, that's the general thing. Uh, I don't have any, like, uh, there's there's nothing on there of me zooming in on one, it lands, the door opens up, and mm -hmm. uh, aliens get off. It's nothing that prolific, but... Uh, I was hoping. <laughs> maybe maybe soon we'll see this seems to be definitely something that well um, certainly you, momentum for well you seem to be down. the you seem to be the right man in the right place you know I, yeah I so, so so how often is it that uh, when people go to your website I mean how often are you uh, updating those that site Do you get new videos every month or would you just make trips out to to uh, area 51 or how how often do you get these videos uh, well I, the thing is is that uh, upon filming this in 06, I filmed so many UFOs that I have uh, actually, like I said, uh, 22 films, uh, 22 discs from um, from Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Uh, I still I just have reams of film that I know I've already looked through them a little bit to see if there's UFOs on them. So I still have a back stock that I haven't even put up here yet, just dozens and dozens of them. And uh, as it is right now, the website was just changed over from the old site to what you see now, which is a little bit more professional site. And uh, I, like I said, I fully intend to uh, keep working at this and uh, adding more to it as time goes by. Mm -hmm. All right. So people need to, to uh, continue to check into your website. Certainly we'll have that link up there on our website. And we have this question on our uh, live chat. The uh, writer wants to know, do you believe that Nibiru is a hollow planet? Uh I believe that Nibiru could be something other than a planet. I wouldn't want to speculate, but uh, it, the timing is beyond irony that all of these things would culminate, uh, you know, all at the same time, coming to the coming to a point of uh, change all at the same time. And lo and behold, here comes this huge object at us that, that uh, mm -hmm. scientists are saying will probably destroy the surface of the Earth. I mean. Uh, is a God that's coming? Is is that uh, the physical embodiment of God? I I don't know. I don't know how to speculate on that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'd say that there's probably uh, uh, a, a chance that it's uh, something other than a planet. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, that uh, that Christ is uh, God incarnate? Yes, I believe that uh, the Christ, the Messiah, Yahweh, uh, whatever name you want to put on the Son of God. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been many names given to him. Mm -hmm. uh, is the physical embodiment of God? Yes. Do you think that uh, he had human DNA or some some other type of? Well, that goes back to what I've come to believe about uh, human beings being more of a vessel, the physical body being a container, and uh, the soul which puts itself in there, the entity, the life form which puts itself in there, could be from anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere in time and space in the universe. You know, you know, so some, uh, the Son of God coming here and becoming a human being is totally feasible that way. When you mm -hmm. use that theory, seems like I've heard. We, actually, we did have one of one of the guests on the program saying that they're trying to get uh, DNA off of the uh, shroud of Turin to yeah. to recreate Christ. What do you think about that? Well, I think that that might prove that you know Christ came down here and, and like I said, was in a, a Homo sapien container. So it might prove that uh, he had human DNA, but doesn't say much for what was inside the container. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's see what else we have here. Now, also, I want to want to talk to you, because we're getting close to the end of the program. Um, is uh, on your website, are those all those videos are free, or, or what's going on there? Do you sell them? Absolutely. Or My uh, website, I, he I heard you say during the commercial break, uh, receive freely, give freely. Yeah. And that's definitely uh, where I'm coming from. Uh, there's no membership fee. The site will always be free. All of my videos, everything that I receive and, and, and able to film or otherwise 
create in some way, I'll definitely put it up here and it will always be free. I would like to add that on the new site I have, um, on the front page only, is the only place you'll find any advertisements is on the main page. Uh, there's two columns on either side, and uh, people who wish to, who uh, believe in my message or would like to help me out a little bit, I'd uh, invite them mm -hmm. to click away on those links there because I do receive a little bit of money for that, and that could... Uh, you know, help perpetuate the site. Right. All right, everybody, be sure to click on the links. I'm, that's an excellent way of doing that. And by, by the way, uh, uh, on uh, talking about, uh, and we had several people talk in the live chat talk about orbs and lights and things. And I've seen different uh, uh, programs on um, UFO activities. These little bitty lights, those, that's certainly not alien. That's not UFOs, are it? Mm. Ooh, like I, I, orbs? I'm inclined to believe that a lot of these orbs, uh, that, especially since digital photography came out, that's when they really started to be captured uh, in, in large numbers, and I'm inclined to believe that those are, in fact, human souls. Okay, okay. So those little balls running around, you, you believe, are human souls? Yes. I believe that those are humans that are still here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in another dimension, but mm -hmm. uh, able to be captured. And, and mm -hmm. what's happening right now, I believe, is that that veil that... Uh, separates uh, mankind from all the rest of the universe that we call reality is being removed or pushed back or becoming thinner and uh, that's why all of this is becoming more prevalent and I think that it will do nothing but increase in uh, uh, UFOs and all, all sorts of paranormal activity will certainly continue to increase over the next uh, four years. Hmm, really and so you're thinking it's going to increase and then culminate in some uh cataclysmic event in the year 2012 yes sir hmm. interesting and uh, is there anything you recommend people to do to prepare for a set event yeah i i recommend that, that you know people who are so inclined to do so that they pray and i realize that not everybody believes in god uh as i said before i'm not a christian a muslim or a jew i don't uh take any sort of religion uh into my own life i just uh, believe in god and uh, I do believe that uh, the Bible, the Torah, the Koran, all of this are just tools given to mankind in their individual geographic place or their uh, to their own race and their individual race to help those people find the correct path. Mm -hmm. And it's really just about as simple as that. Interesting. All right, uh, John Mitchell, we've come to the end of the interview here, and uh, that sounded like a kind of in, in statement that was good, but anything else you'd like to say about your website or anything, you go right ahead. I would like to add one thing. Um, in the beginning of all of this, right after I discovered uh, that I had this implant, uh, I, I came to a really uh, uh, sort of a dark place spiritually. You know, I was really, uh, it was very upsetting to know that I had gone through all this, and I, and I had a lot to deal with at first, you know, to accept this. And there's a woman, her name is uh, Bonnie Jean Hamilton, and she runs alienabductionhelp.com. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to mention her site. Uh, she was a great help to me right in the beginning. She really uh, helped to put things in perspective. And so if there's anybody else out there that's uh, a contactee or having uh, these type of problems, you know, dealing with this, I would recommend that they uh, get a hold of her. Mm -hmm. She's a great woman. What, 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 does she have a website? She does, yeah, alienabductionhelp.com. Com. And then abduction. I'll tell you what, uh, if you want me to put that in your bio link, I certainly can. Oh, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Alien abduction help. Help. Dot com. Dot com. All right. Uh, John Mitchell, it's been fascinating and awesome to have you on the program tonight. Can we have you back on again sometime? Absolutely. Anytime. Okay. And I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to be able to speak to a large audience like this. Excellent. All right, John, thank you and uh, good evening. You have been listening to The Edge with Daniel Ott. To subscribe to The Edge newsletter, log on to theedgeam.com. That's theedgeam.com, where you can find out more about the guests and topics discussed on the air. The Edge is being brought to you by Internet Solutions, home of affordable website design and low-cost Internet access. Visit Internet Solutions at ES4.com. That's ES4.com. Until next week for the Edge Radio broadcast, I'm Chris Moore. See you on the Edge. News on the USA Radio Network is next.